Hello everyone, I'm Weavery and welcome back to another video and today I will be explaining how to obtain 12 easy Dragonflight mounts. With Dragonflight releasing there is lots of new mounts being released and some of these methods to obtain these mounts are similar and some are completely unique. Before I explain however, subscribing to the channel is so easy and shows your support and with that said and done, please enjoy the rest of this video. Now the first mount on my list is the Temperamental Skyclaw. That's right, the giant fox bird wyvern thing is a new mount in Dragonflight and pretty easy to obtain. You obtain this mount from the NPC Zonwaji at 3-4's lookout in the Azure Span. To get this mount from him you need to bring him 20 of 3 different uh, meats. And that is the 20 Flash Frozen Meat, 20 Nolan's House Special and 20 Tuscar Jerky. Now these can be obtained from specific null mobs all around the Azure Span, but you can also obtain these off of the Auction House, but it's your choice. For the second mount, it is Lizzie the Thunderspine Tramper. Now this mount is also very easy to obtain. You can earn this mount through completing a daily quest every day for five days, given from Initiate Radia located in the Aneri Springs in the Anaran Plains. These daily quests include giving Radia some Dragon Isles resources and some specific crafting regions. And once completed, Lizzie the Thunderspine Tramper will be in your position. There is some prerequisite side quest lines you will have to have to complete, so just complete as many as you can and come back every now and then to check back if there is a daily quest involving Lizzie. The third mount on my list is the Azure Skitterfly. Now to obtain this mount you need to reach renown 25 with the Dragon Scale Expedition in which after you are given the choice between the mount, this mount and another in which you can choose one and then purchase the other from a vendor for Dragon Isles resources and some crafting regions. Now it has come to my attention that the Dragon Scale Dirt Reputation Farm has been nerfed but it is still worth it to pick up any disturbed dirt and expedition scout packs you locate throughout the Dragon Isles. The fourth mount on my list is very similar to the Azure Skitterfly. It is the Tamed Skitterfly. For this mount, you also need to be renowned 25 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Upon reaching tw renowned 25, there will be a quest to choose between the Azure or the Tamed Skitterfly mounts, and whichever one you don't pick, you can purchase for Dragonflight resources and some crafting regions. Again, very similar to the mount before this one, but let's continue. Next up for the fifth mount is the Verdant Skitterfly. Now this mount is obtained from the Expedition Scout Packs located all around the Dragon Isles, but you need to be renowned 25 for this to for it to become available to drop. This mount is just a greener colour palette than the other Skitterfly mounts and is very easily obtainable once reaching renowned 25 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. For the sixth mount on my list, it is the Stormhide Salamantha. Now you know those primal storms occurring all throughout the Dragon Isles. The mobs at the area the storm is occurring at become empowered with new abilities and drop a currency called Elemental Overflow. Once obtained 2000 Elemental Overflow, you can return to Mithrisa located at the Sapphire Enclave in Flotrekin in return for the Stormhide Salamantha mount. The seventh mount is the Brown Scouting Otak. You obtain this mount upon reaching renown 25 with the Ascara Tuscar. Once reached the specific renown level, a quest becomes available located in Ascara where you pick between the Brown Scouting Otak and a different Otak. Once chosen one, you can purchase the other one with Crafting and Dragon Isles resources. This is similar to how the Skitterfly mounts worked. For the 8th mount on my list, it is the Yellow Scouting Otak. To obtain this mount, you must also be renowned 25 with the Ascara Tuscar. Once reaching this level, you go to Ascara and also do the quest where you pick between the Yellow Scouting Otak and the Brown Otak that I mentioned before.
Next up as the ninth mount, it is the Brown War Otak. This is obtained by reaching max renown with the Ascara Tusker, which is renown 30. Once reaching this renown level, a quest becomes available in Ascara where you pick between this mount and the next mount I talk about. These mounts have a lot more than the scouting ones, a lot more armor than the scouting ones. That's why they are <laughs> the War Otaks. As the 10th mount, it is the Yellow War Otak. Just like before reaching Renown 30, you return to Ascara to find a quest to pick between the Yellow War Otak or the Brown War Otak. Whatever you don't pick, you can purchase for resources and crafting regions. For the 11th mount on this list, it is the Ivory Trader's Otak. Now this mount is quite unique in the way of obtaining it. You can purchase this mount from the NPC Tatu Kayaka, located in Ascara for a price of 3 dungeon rings. That's right, all this vendor wants for this mount is the Thunderous Downburst Ring, which is drops from the Not Could Offensive Dungeon, the Unstable Arcane Loop Ring, which drops in the Azure Vault Dungeon, and lastly, the Platinum star band which drops from the dungeon Elgathar Academy. It can be any difficulty, normal, heroic or mythic but what makes this easy to obtain is the fact that you can spam normal or heroic dungeons to try and obtain these rings. Or mythic plus. And lastly, for the 12th mount is, is the Ascara Trader's Otak. This is obtained similarly to the last mount I explained. This mount can be purchased from the NPC in Ascara called Tatu Kayaka for a price of two raid necks. The first raid neck is Teros's Captive Core, which drops from Teros in the Vault of the Incarnate, and lastly the Eye of the Vengeful Hurricane, which drops from Dathea Ascended. The reason why this is on this list as easy is once Alifar rolls out, you can attempt, attempt at getting these necks every week. Thank you so much for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe if you did, good luck getting these mounts and I will see you all in my next video, bye bye.